Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you've all been well. In this lesson we're going to take a look at five chords that could be considered the uh, foundation on which you can write math rock songs from. These five chords don't have to apply just to math rock, they can apply to many other genres as well. So what are the five chords? So the five chords are major sevens, minor sevens, major nines, minor nines and minor elevens. So let's get straight into them. I'm in standard tuning and we're going to be in the key of C major because there's no sharps and flats which will make it easier for me to explain how the chords are built. So let's take a look at the major seven variations I've got here for you. And as you can see here I've put this chord spelling up for you. So you got the one, three, five, seven. So the four notes that make up a major seven chord. So we're going to be in C major, and we'll play a, so, a C major 7 chord. So that's made up of a C, E, G, and B. Let's take a look at the other variations. So that's in the 1st position. So that's in the 5th position. And I've got um, a big stretch here for you if you can do this one. Try it out. You have to get your hand in a weird position to do this one, but... That one has a lot of body to it. But it's also very hard to hold as well. And the last variation... Hmm. You may recognise that chord from, you know, Minus the Bear. Yeah. There's the major variations there, so let's look at the minor 7 variations. The first thing you may notice from the uh, chord spelling is that the 3rd and the 7th are flattened, so they're taken down one semitone, and this is how it gets the sound of a minor 7 chord. So let's play on this one on a B, B minor 7. Sounds very jazzy. And in the 5th position as well, And then you got the regular version. You've probably seen that one before. And then last, bit of a stretch. <laughs> Definitely a bit of a stretch. I mean, I got a shorter scale guitar as well. So that's that second chord in the the minus the bad example. Hmm. So the minor 7 chords have a kind of a jazz feel to them, but they can be used in math rock as well. I use quite a lot of them in my songwriting, as well as the major variations. So let's move on to the major 9 chord. So now we're adding another chord, as you can see on the spelling here. So we've added the 2nd, which is actually the ninth. and how you work this out is you count. So you've got the C here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there's no sharps or flats there again. C major 9. So there we're entering a, that kind of Midwest emo, kind of math rock territory there. That's a nice sounding chord, that one. Play in the fifth position. Okay, also lovely. And then we look at the minor variations of C minor 9. And you can see here, again, we've got the flattened 3rd and the flattened 7th, like in the minor 7, but we've added that ninth note on, the D. So that instantly sounds very jazzy, right? But if we play it, um, sorry, let's play a B to keep in the key of C major. That sounds lovely. And if we play it up in the 5th uh, position, Sounds less sharp because we haven't got the our um, sorry our ninth there. It's quite piercing, but it's a bit more smooth up here. And lastly, we have the minor eleven chord. So we play again on B. 
So you can see the spelling here, we've added the fourth. So remember if we count through them again, so at the bottom here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we've added the F. And we've still got just a flattened third and a flattened seventh. That's the spelling for all it, the um, minor extended chords. So B minor 11. <laughs> So I like this chord as a passing chord in most songs. And if you play it in the other position, it doesn't quite sound as nice as the... if you play it from the uh, sixth position there. So now we've taken a look at the chords, I'll give you two examples of how you can use them to write songs. So the first example is by a band I used to be in called Walls Flying Kites. So what did you think to that example? It was just based around three full chords. So we had the uh, C sharp minor 9 there, and then E major 9, descending into a D sharp minor 7 there, so it's nice. Let's take a look at another example. This one I wrote is more of um, to show you how you can use lots of different chords. It's quite jazzy, so let's take a look at that. So what did you think of that example? It's a lot more mellow and I wanted to show use it kind of a nice little soft section in a song. It has lots of little jazz descending parts in it. Yeah, so that's the two examples for full chords. What we'll do next is move on to something may, you may or may not have thought of before. And that's, instead of playing the full chords, we strip them down a bit. And we'll start with stripping them down to three note variations, and have a look at how we can write songs with that. So if we take a look at the major variations, again we'll stay in C major. So in the sixth position, starting from the E string, That's missing that um, the full bodiness there, but if you play it in the fifth position, and then you can switch to the minor versions, so B minor. Major 9 versions of this one, so let's take a look at that. If you want to play a bit. And the minor 9 variation, uh, it's like, so let's play on B again. Sorry, yeah. We won't add a 11 variation in there, just stick to them too. So these usually sound better if you add a bit of drive to them and um, put them in order, put them in some kind of flowing order. So a really classic example of this is probably a song we've all tried to learn at one point, which is the... FC premix or whatever it's called by Fall of Troy. So let's take a look at um, an example of that.
Yes, so there's that. I'm sure you've all had a crack at that before in the past. So lastly, we'll move on to stripping them down one more layer, so far as we can go, to two note examples. So these technically aren't chords anymore, they're actually intervals. But I want you to think of them as if you're right using them as chords, because it's better that way for when you're putting some structure to a piece of music. Arguably, you could call these other kinds of chords, especially with the free note examples as well. But anyway, enough of that. Um, let's take a look at these in turn. So we start with the, again, C major. We've got major 7 there. Just two notes. Same in the 5th position. And a minor, B minor. Major 9, so it'll be... It's a nice interval, that is really nice. Second, major 2nd, second, basically. And then major 9. Minor 9. So C, C again, C minor 9. It's odd, right? The major 9 and the minor 9, they're exactly the same. And that's because, remember, if we go back to the uh, chord spellings here, with C minor 7, we got the flat 7, right? So it still has some kind of um, indication that it's uh, been flattened, that it's a minor sound. But if we're playing C minor 9, we're just playing the first and the second here. And there's no indication, you know, that we've got a flattened note. So there's no way of telling if it's major or minor. But like I said, I, I want you to think of it as if you were writing a chord progression with the major and minor tonality in mind. Let's take a look at, sorry, the example for two notes, and then we'll move on to the last example after that. So, with that example there, I wanted to show you how we can use the intervals. Like a nice little soft piece in the song where it can be like transitioning between a section. But you can do many other things with it as well. That's just one idea. And lastly, I have an example by my band Mountains. And this is actually the intro song on the channel. And this example incorporates all of the chord examples we've had here today. The four chords, the three notes, and the two notes. So you can get an idea of how you can use all three to write a song with. So let's check that out. What did you think to the combination example? So we have in the first bar we've got the three chords, uh, three notes per chord, three notes per chord, and then when we get to that bar, the third bar, then we have the E major nine, the four chord, with the uh, tapping there, and then. Um, B major 7 there, and then lastly we have the using the two notes there. Yes, that's the intro song to the channel. Um, if you want to listen to the whole song, you can head over to the Bandcamp. I'll chuck a link in there, and also. 
that's from our first EP. We also did an album which is coming out really soon, and there's a, re, a reworked version of that song on there, so it's all up to date. So that's it for this lesson today. I hope you find all of this content useful. Over my time I've learnt so many different variations and you know you build into your own context of what you like to use in your song. So I'm trying to give you some extra stuff to work with. Um, so as always, uh, thank you for watching and I'll be back soon with another video. So until then, I'll see you then. Okay, bye bye.